Jungle Bob here. So today, uh, video is going to be on this Honda HRR 216K6 BKA. Uh, customer brought it in. He was having a hard time starting it, uh, but he was able to uh, get it started. Once he got it started, it would run fine. Uh, thought maybe it was bad gas or whatever. He tried changing the gas, and then he finally got it started. But let me show you a couple things here. And I've, I've already got this torn apart. Everybody knows how to take one of these apart. But he had tied this over here because he thought he was having a problem with the choke and trying to control the governor here, which has nothing to do with the choke at all on these Hondas. Um, so indeed, he did have a problem, and he was able to get it started by, you know, spraying some fluid in it or whatever, and it was running fine, and you know, and. But after he let it sit, he, he couldn't get it cranked back up without doing the same thing. And uh, the culprit is this little piece right here. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about that. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We'll get right into it. We're going to go through this whole repair by taking the carburetor off of where all the gaskets go. There's plenty of videos out there on that. I'm sure there's videos out there on this. Uh, what I did want to mention is how this works. So this little piece right here, it's a, called a thermo wax, whatever, it's temperature sensitive. So as the engine heats up, it takes this little needle here and pushes it out to simulate, to, to push on the carburetor choke butterfly valve to open it up. And when it's cold, this thing should retract all the way down to allow the choke butterfly valve to close. And this piece here is a choke assembly and it fits against the engine like this, just like that. And this little piece here, right there, slides in here. Now, there are two different kinds of these thermo wax assemblies. One of them's a square one and one of them's a round one. I happen to have the round one. So, uh, what happens is, is, when this is on here, it should be retracted, and that allows the choke butterfly valve to be all the way closed. And as the engine heats up, it opens the choke valve up for normal running operations. So what's happening on this one is, you can look and see, like, after it's cooled off, that this is still open, so it's not providing enough vacuum for the engine to start. So a lot of times people might think that they have a carburetor problem and they really don't have a carburetor problem. They have a, well, on these Hondas, especially this, this is thermo wax assembly. And I'm going to show you real quick, I'm going to heat it up and show you how it uh, expands and how this one's not working. See how that should, this is how it should look when it's disengaged. In other words, the choke valve should be closed all the way. And if you heat this thing up, and it's probably going to take a little bit, but you can slowly see it start pushing itself out. I may time like this, but you see there it goes. It's growing, it's growing, it's growing. That's what she said, right? So it's growing and it's sitting out there. All right, we're going to stop this video right now while it's all the way out like that. And we're going to come back in about 20 minutes and I'm going to show you what it looks like. While we're waiting around on that, what I was telling you, they make two different kinds and I'm going to show you the other kind. But you notice this has got a round hole on it. So that's why we want to use the round one. And I'm going to show you the uh, part for the square one while we're waiting to see if this one's any good or not. So guys, what I wasn't able to show you though, I meant to is, so as this piece sits, and you see that in there? So like if you take your finger, and you see how it, it pushes, it pushes this lever over as that pin that sits inside here pushes out. So in other words, that pin, that pin pushes on the back of this, and this sits up here like, so, and then the carburetor 
forward mount up to it and it, it operates the choke lever to open it and close it. Right? So that's how that works. And I apologize. My tripod won't get down low enough for me to show you, but I thought you might want to see that. And so it has been 30 minutes now and this pin is still out. So it's not retracting at all. And it's cold. I even put it in some water. You know, I dipped it in some water and it won't retract by itself. Now I can push it in with my finger, right? So I could fix this. You would think you could fix this. You can push this in with your finger and give it back to the customer. And uh, it might crank the first time. It might crank the second time. But once it gets out there, it's going to be stuck out there. So, just a, it's a common problem on these Hondas. I don't see a whole lot of them, but they are common. Uh, I mean, I, I probably see four or five of these a year. So anyway, so if you thought this uh, video was informative, hit the like button, give me some thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Jungle Bob out.